Every living organism requires water to survive. Wherever water flows, you can be sure to find life. The diverse uses of this precious resource include household, industrial, environmental, and recreational activities. The Tana River Basin is Kenya's largest river basin wetland that cuts across 14 counties. The basin originates from the central highlands in southeastern Mount Kenya and Aberdeer Ranges. It has several tributaries that join to form the main river, which meanders and flows southeastward, forms a delta before draining her waters into the Indian Ocean at Kipini, north of Malindi Town. Given its importance to agriculture, energy production, fishing and recreation, the Tana River Basin is a key driver of the local and national economy. The basin's ecosystem supports over 11 million livelihoods and contributes over 30% of drinking water nationally. In fact, over 80% of Nairobi Metropolitan's water needs is met from here. In addition, close to 40% of Kenya's power output is derived from this major water source. Agriculturally, the Tana supports large-scale irrigation schemes for food production, which include rice and maize. This is a big boost to the national coffers and a source of employment to thousands of local community members. Subsistence farming of such crops like mangoes, maize and bananas is also carried out along the banks of the river. But cultural farming is no exception. Fishing is another major activity in the Tana River Basin. The river boasts of 57 different species of fish, where diversity increases as you go downstream towards the Tana Delta. In spite of the many benefits accrued from the use of the Tana waters, biodiversity unless kept in close check, is being rapidly wiped out. Some of the harmful activities include deforestation, pollutants arising from the use of agrochemicals and pesticides in large-scale farming, as well as overstocking, which leads to overgrazing in the mid and lower basin. The enumerated threats notwithstanding the Tana has diverse habitats and a high biodiversity, which includes 12 protected areas. Some of them are Mount Kenya National Park, Meru National Park, and the Tana Delta Ramsar site. Several insects and plant species found here are unique to the basin and cannot be found elsewhere on Earth. Scientific data and information about the Tana River Basin biodiversity and its environment is required to help us better understand the environmental changes and how to best manage the ecosystem. This will address the emerging challenges such as biodiversity loss and climate change. Such data and information must be scientifically collected in standard formats over long periods. It should be well curated and managed so that it can be used and reused for different studies and by different generations of scientists. The National Museums of Kenya, in partnership with other stakeholders, has been working on a project to develop a biodiversity data and information system for the Tana River Basin that can support the ecosystem management and development planning. The project has been supported through a grant from the JRS Biodiversity Foundation. Under the project, 
scientists from the National Museums of Kenya have been carrying out research and data collection on Tana River Basin, including these rare plants and animal species. This is done with a view to establishing their roles in the environment and how to shield them from local extirpation and extinction. And Mount Kenya Forest, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And right next to me, I'm actually next to a feeder stream feeding a Tungu River. One of the unique plants is an orchid. Orchids are a CITES listed species. They are ornamentals and they are protected because there is of a, a exploitation in trade. The orchid is among a few other plant species which are good indicators of a healthy forest. The Tuntuni Forest, which is part of Mount Kenya East, is home to many rare and endemic plant species, which stand the risk of human exploitation. Mount Kenya is a world uh, heritage site. This forest, there are so many species, which are most of them, they are rare, others are endemic, others are endangered. And here we have one of the species that is listed in the CITES. This is Sayadea maniana. It's a fan or commonly known as Teridophyte. The collection of specimens by the scientists is a thorough and meticulous process, taking great care not to disturb the pristine environment in the course of the exercise. Notice the scenic beauty of the waterfall as the splashes cascade downstream, leaving the rocks neat and splendid. With me here is a very rare damsel fly, uh, which we call the Kenya uh, jewel. It's also known as the mountain jewel. It is so rare such that in the whole world, if you wanted to see this rare insect, you have to come here. Here meaning to Mount Kenya or to the Abadeas. Some of the fish species found in the Tana River tributaries display a high sensitivity to the environment. Any slight change in the water may affect them drastically. This is Congo Rivers at the headwaters, uh, which is one of the rivers that fills the Tana River. Uh, in this river, uh, here I expect to get uh, the mountain catfish, which is one of the two species that would be found at higher altitudes and at relatively waters of good quality. Tana River comprises of around 57 species, where diversity increases as you go downstream. The Tana River Basin is replete with pollinators. One of the key features about the Tana River Delta is the kind of richness that we have in terms of uh, uh, the pollinators. And uh, these are generally the flower visitors. And when we are talking of uh, the pollinators of, of flower visitors, we are not just talking of uh, the bees. Yeah, there's so many other diverse groups of invertebrates that visit the flowers and uh, they assist in the pollination. On the Chuka side of Mount Kenya, community members know the benefits of conserving the environment for their own economic empowerment. By hanging their beehives on the primordial trees deep inside the forest, they collect high quality honey and package it for sale. That way, they are assured of earning a livelihood. The traditional bee uh, hives are uh, everywhere along the uh, the river so there's a lot of honey production here yeah here there will be uh, you know the forest the forest honey but as you go down the the, the basin where the vegetation changes uh, to more acacia kind of vegetation you tend to get acacia honey yeah, but this is one of the ways that the local communities are benefiting out of the resources within the basin. Tourism is the backbone of our economy. The Tana River Basin is a top-rated tourist destination where millions of visitors make pilgrimage to Mount Kenya and Abadea Ranges to view panoramic landscapes and watch 
their wildlife. An ongoing project has mobilized a substantial amount of biodiversity data and information that is well curated and openly accessible. This data and information can be used by all stakeholders to better manage and conserve the Tana ecosystem. The project has brought together key stakeholders through workshops and other capacity building activities. This has helped increase awareness about the importance of the Tana River Basin ecosystem and the need to work collaboratively to build synergy and avoid duplication. By conserving our environment, we are putting a guarantee to a better tomorrow for generations to come. We all have a role to play for the betterment of our rich flora and fauna.